So we're going to spend the first part of this video adding headings, then we're going to add some bold and italics, and then next some bullet points and some internal links, and then in the second part of the video we'll add some pictures, citations, references and categories. Okay, let's go back to the browser and let's begin. To use the visual editor, we're going to click on the edit button at the top and that's always the button you want to use to access the visual editor. So, as I said, we want to split all of this into headings. So I'm going to create some paragraphs, first of all, by just clicking return at the end of the sentence. There we are. Creating a bit more sections. Okay. Now, first thing to add some headings to split everything up a little bit better, all we need to do is highlight with our cursor. where we want to create a heading. So I'm going to go with the top one, my username, and make that my first heading. So now that I've highlighted that with my cursor, I can use the first drop down, format paragraph, and I can click into that and it will show me all the different options available. We can choose heading, subheading one, subheading two, etc. Or we can also indent if we have a block quote or a larger page title option. So. I'm going to use the first one, heading, and you see I've already created a heading for that first paragraph. I can do the same for all the other ones underneath. About me, my example list, things I like, scroll down. example link and my example citation. Now, you can create your own headings now, so if you want to, you can pause the video to do that. And I'll scroll to the top so you can see how I've done it. So, first step, add a few headings. If you've done that, we can click Save Page the blue button on the top right and this is how Visual Editor has its own edit summary box and again like the source editor we're going to describe the change we've made so added headings added headings once we've typed that in click save page and there we have it I have one two three four five six headings all created all splitting things up and our page already looks a little bit more like a Wikipedia article thing to notice is there it has appeared a contents list in the top left the contents list is automatically created if you have more than three headings so if you don't have a contents list it might be because you have less than three or three headings on its own so that's step 